So here's our second layer. The only difference is going to happen with these little ones because these little corner uh, middle pieces because they're not going to be solved for us. So now we hit the top layer and the top layer means getting our cross up here. Same way you've done with the 3x3. Three three. Same algorithm. F R U F prime U prime F prime. So we have the line here. F R U R prime U prime F prime. Here's our cross. Now we get to the center situation. We've come across these strategies with previous tutorials of the uh, super cubes, the 4x4, four four, the 5x5. Five five. And what I'm looking for is to see if this is within 90 degrees of where it's supposed to be or 180 degrees of where it's supposed to be. So this over here is within 90 degrees of where it's supposed to be. This one is 90 degrees of where it's supposed to be. This is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees. So in a situation like this, I'm going to do the familiar middle swap. Putting this over here so it's 80 degrees, this over here, in this case it'll be solved, but it'll be within 180 degrees or solved. So let's see what happens. We'll do our familiar middle swap algorithm, which I'll post, but we've seen this before to anyone who's following these tutorials. But that's 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So predictably, what that did is it put one in a position and put this in the 180 degree par, uh, area. It also predictably created a parity here, which we can only get out of if we do a similar adjacent middle swap or opposite middle swap. So what I'm going to do now is do my adjacent middle swap here to get those within 180 degrees, and let's see where things shake out. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So what we have is this is solved, this is solved, and this is 180 degrees, and this is 180 degrees. The way we, the problem that we have with this is unfortunately we're not going to be able to solve it. We're not going to be able to get out of the situation easily. Because if I do um, an adjacent, if I do an opposite swap, this will go over here, this will go over here. This, before in the supercube, this rotated 180 degrees. Now this rotates 180 degrees. So these two will still be solved. This will be solved, but unfortunately, we're going to create parity here, which we can't get out of. So we need a way of fixing this. With the supercubes, we had an algorithm for that, something we did specifically for that, which is going to be our R to you, R to you, R to you. But we can't do that here because this middle is not is, is fixed. It doesn't flip with that as it did with the uh, supercubes. So if only there was a way we can find a way to get it to a middle that didn't move up, ah, we have that over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this down to the white side as it's tidally locked. Um, make sure that all the centers are where they need to be and Let's see what happens. So this goes down to the white side, goes down to the white side. And then it's going to be the uh, R to U, R to U, R to U, R to U, R to U. And if all went according to plan, this is now where it needs to be. This is where it needs to be. We just have to rotate it back where it needs to be. We're going to move this twice so that they can encounter each other. So this comes over here, oops, this comes over here, move these back, move these back, and now all these centers are where they need to be. Here's, this, here's another situation that you might run into with the, um, with the last layer. This is that situation where you just have one that's solved and the rest aren't. We've encountered this before and it's the same algorithm that we have in order to rotate these around, which is going to be the uh, U, I'm sorry, the R, U, R, I, U, R, 2, U, R, I, and uh, this is still fine. These are going to be rotated around. R, U, R, I, U, R, 2, U, R. So you can see that this gets all that back into position, and then it's just a matter of getting the corners back into position here. So here's one more situation with the um, middles of the last side to talk about. Anyway, in this situation, you've got two that are solved, 
and then you've got two that are 90 degrees from where they need to be. So what we want to do is we want to do a middle swap, uh, an adjacent middle swap, in order to move these into position so that it gets it to be 180 degrees from where they need to be. Which is going to screw this up, but let's see what happens. So we do an adjacent middle swap because again, this is 90 degrees from where we want it to be, this is 90 degrees, we want it to become 180 degrees. So, as you recall, the adjacent middle swap, 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So, we got our parity issue here, 180 degrees, 180 degrees, 180 and 180. So we want to get out of this parity, so we have to do some other middle swap. And predictably what's going to happen is if we do it from this angle, this will be swapped to this side. Everything is going to be carried through, so this won't be solved, but this side will be solved. Well, we'll just move it here. Well, we'll, we'll keep it like that. So we'll do a opposite middle swap. 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U. And as predicted, this is once again solved, solved, and we have that familiar situation where these guys are not solved. So it's a matter of just doing our little trick, bringing it down to the white side, and then from the white side do the algorithm to, to uh, bring this back. So that's going to be R to U, R to U, R to U, R to U, R to you. So that brings that back where it needs to be. Now remember when moving it back down, you want to move the blue onto the blue. So we'll actually move it here. That way it won't be screwed up when you bring it back. So this goes back down, this goes back down, and then once again all these middle sides are solved. Well, I lied. Here's another example. This is where everything is 180 degrees. Everything 180 degrees. And this is pretty good because I could do an um, opposite middle swap here, which will solve these guys. Then bring it on over, do another opposite middle swap, which will solve these guys. So just bear in mind when you do these swaps, this is going to rotate 180 degrees. And if you just so happen to swap this and put that 180 degrees too, it'll drag it with it. So to R, to U, to R, to U, to R, to U. So, these are where they need to be, no problem. Put it back here, and that should solve the rest of it. 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U. So, once again, solved our parities and solved all of our sides. Or all of our middles, rather. Now, when you do that, that's going to kind of mess up your first layer. So just go ahead and get it back and don't panic. You're not going to mess up what you just did. So here's a yellow and blue. We'll move that back here. So we'll get our first layer back. And now we have to get our second layer back. We'll make short work of this. And this goes here. Okay, so there's our second layer, and all of these centers are here. So don't worry, you didn't, uh, you didn't mess that up. And then it's just a matter of putting your corners back in by the familiar 3x3 three three algorithm. See if any of these are in the right place. This is, this is not. So, in whatever method you want, right place, not right place. Okay, so all these are, should be in the right place. It's just a matter of flipping them all up, which we'll do right now. Oops. Hopefully I didn't screw myself up with that one. And lo and behold, this is the last part of the circle cube because everything got fixed. And bingo. So that puts all of our surrounding shell where it needs to be. The only thing we have left are these little triangles. And that's going to be the final frontier.